Hi, my name's Edie, this is my garage, this is my driveway. So, um, just heading out to EFI, just leaving home. Um, should be there in about two and a half, three hours, depending on traffic. Um, going up there with the Twingo, uh, which has had a new fuel rail fitted, uh, which flows through. And it's had a 19T hybrid turbo fitted, uh, nothing else really. Um, oh, I've borrowed a green dot actuator from John, cheers John. Um, I've got one on the way, so as soon as that turns off, I'll send that out to you. Um, but the green dot actuator, I'm told, holds boost a lot better. Um, so basically, I'm trying to hit 300 horsepower on everything as it is, on the standard engine, um, just for willy waving really, uh, it'll hold me off until I decide whether I want to sell the car uh, or build another engine and go a bit further with it. Uh, the trip is twofold for me, this is the first time I'm driving uh, since my operation. Normally travel with my old condition, uh, ulcerative colitis, used to be a big no-no going up to see someone like Scoff. Um, would have been like a four or five day affair for me um, but since then I've had my colon removed uh, about three and a bit weeks ago and I've, so I've had a colectomy and ileostomy got no pain from the original condition no issues from the original condition a um, little bit of pain from the surgery still but nothing major so nice gentle cruise up um, to run corn should be okay. It's nice to actually leave the house and not have any of my original issues uh, about going anywhere. So, yeah. Anyway, all being well, you should hit 300 brake horsepower or very close to it. Uh, should change up the car again. That'll be another 20 25 horsepower peak. I don't think we're really going to try and increase the torque at all. Just see where we go, really. Nice to put my foot down again, even though on low boost uh, I poked it a little bit, it's still absolutely rapid. But. So, yeah, fingers crossed with 300 brake, we don't blow up, we don't destroy a piston or a ring band, we don't bend a rod, uh, everything now seems okay. So, fingers crossed. A few moments later, oh, this isn't good, I seem to have lost all my boost. Three hours later.
here for my parts. Um, yeah, car makes 300 brake horsepower, 300 foot pound of torque. The drive now is completely different with this big turbo one. Um, it just, just pulls and pulls and pulls all the way to the red line now. Uh, versus the old uh, the little turbo, the standard turbo will punch you, pull and then drop off. Car actually made, um, well, it started making about what, 305, 306 foot pan at all. We actually saw 312, 315 brake, uh, but you know, it's a totally standard engine. So we wound it back to 300, 300 basically, uh, and it's amazing. I can't thank Chris enough. Drives faultlessly. We've got an idea for the next build, um, uh, so if that goes ahead. Uh, keep you informed on that. They'll be using the same turbo we've got on this. Uh, Chris seems to think it should do about 340 horsepower, which will be plenty in a Twingo. I mean, it's nuts as it is now. Um, excuse me. But yeah, I've got the 250 rods and pistons, so they can go in. Slightly thicker head gasket, set of modified 172 cams. And um, it's a 250 RS injectors as well. And Chris is adamant we'll be able to do well, 340 ish brake. Not sure everything else is going to hold up. Gearbox might fall apart, but it's still holding at the moment. Effectively, we haven't increased our peak torque, so I don't think anything's going to break. What we've increased is our horsepower. We've gained 20 25 horsepower really since last time. Which doesn't sound much, but the way it delivers it, absolutely phenomenal, it's unrelenting. I've probably lost 100 RPM in spool up if that, um, it's not even noticeable. But it just pulls and pulls and pulls and pulls instead of just dying off like the old turbo. So yeah, anyone who's got a Meg, fit a 250 RS turbo or a hybrid like I have, mine's bigger than the 250 turbo. It's called a 19T hybrid. Um, but yeah, it's changed the way this thing drives and I can't believe how much it changed it actually. But the thing's mental on the road. I've still got a high and low boost set up. Uh, so high boost is 300 brake, 300 foot pound of torque. Low boost is about, I think it peaks at about 280 brake, but it does it with about 250 foot pound of torque. So it drives very differently. Uh, but yeah, good to have switchable. Yeah, chuffed, absolutely chuffed. Chris, total gent as always, um, talks you through everything he's doing. Um, I wouldn't suggest to go anywhere else personally. He's my go-to guy, even if it is a five, maybe six hour round trip for the day. But yeah, fantastic. Car's held up well, just doing the business. For a scrapyard built car, driveway built car, out of spare parts. It's phenomenal. So yeah, we're uh, we're at now in the 300 brake horsepower club. What, what did it officially do on, on the printout? You know, because you've got to have a printout. 302 brake. You know? So yeah, the car's a ton. 300 brake per ton car. It's pretty quick, mate. Um, yeah, really, really happy with it. Thanks very much, Chris.